core structure, the bite force are also similar. Crocodiles try to rip off and kill each other. Nile crocodiles get tired faster, while saltwater crocodiles do death rolls that are impossible to get out of. Behavior is only slightly different. While Nile crocs can be very aggressive, saltwater crocodiles are even more so. Tipping <coughs> point is the size. The largest male Nile crocodile was 1,000 pounds. That's about average. Let's figure out how to do this. This delivery request service. Does this really need to do anything? Or is it just... Is it just a courier dispatch? Courier dispatch probably needs to let's let's go back in time for a second. The courier service actually inserted an entry in the courier cancel table. And then it posts the courier canceled to the delivery request service. But the delivery request service is simply that, a delivery request. I feel like as of right now, delivery request service probably doesn't care if a courier canceled. It only cares if a customer canceled. Code for a customer canceled is this right here. But for a courier, I don't I don't think it matters. If we go to the courier dispatch service. There's a couple of things in here. All these utilities. And then try to build that. Mm -hmm. And we can probably add Probably add it in here. So, how do you face the solicit? We'll call it courier cancel function. That's a HTTP trigger, right? Which shouldn't matter. I got right there. And then this career cancel submission. We can hear that or we copy it over. Let's see the customer cancel submission. I might as well handle that as well. Um, 
Okay. I kind of feel like I kind of feel like there probably should be a, a token. like that. Yeah, hey, observer. Yeah, I think the token is better for the future because you can't just arbitrarily just invoke that service and not have to be authenticated to execute something that deals with money. Which means that I should probably visit. Well, th this one's not the plan, right? That was the whole point. <clears throat> Curry dispatch language. And we'll add, uh, we'll add that structure down here. It doesn't know what a request ID is because I called it a delivery request ID. <clears throat> mm, I'm surprised it doesn't know what a token is though. Where a token? Uh, That's strange. It's... Oh, I doesn't know what the delivery request ID is. I thought I just pulled it from up here. Delivery request ID. I don't understand. Oh because there's maps and there's language okay so i accidentally added it under maps Is that hey second observer and i can add that over here Hold up. where am i at yeah, I can add this down here. Okay, and it probably says that token is already fine. All right, so we do that. Now what? Um, there's three different areas, right? Courier service. I probably should update that as well. Where is the cancellation? Cancel, create a cancellation, this right here. That's not what I was looking for. Um, and why is this? I don't think that should have a date time on here. So this should probably be a, let me see something. Is that all I have? Let me do a courier cancel. Let's see what I have. Yeah, it's just a courier cancellation. I don't see any other. What about submission? Oh, hold up. Let me do a cancel. Data transfer. Customer cancellation, career cancel function, career cancel topic, uh, customer cancel submission, 
See, I, I see this customer cancel submission. Okay, the cancellation is a receipt. Okay. So there should be a courier courier cancellation as well. So we say courier cancel submission. And that should be a token. Okay. Like that. And this token it should really be a token should be defined as a user ID, right? Not a courier ID because we want to reuse this. All right user id equals string okay so then we go back down to wherever we were editing at oh yeah i forgot to do it right here so yeah user id okay and so we go back to this where do I put it? Over here. And so these are both tokens here. These are both tokens. All right. Now what? Mm. Go back to our courier dispatch. We can, we now have this courier cancel submission. Uh, if I go to the courier cancel function, I should get resolved now. Is the courier cancel submission or courier cancel? Yeah, this is right here, right? So I should get resolved and it, it does, right? And so then here we can say user, nope. Submission dot token, uh, and then we say access to, and that should be fine. Okay, and then what? Oh, uh, because we're in courier dispatch, we want to dispatch. Another courier, courier responded delivery requested function. We want to call this request courier. Or do we just call this so Azure function right here for delivery requested? If we do that, then we have to try to figure out if I need to do the. I feel like I probably should. What's this paid delivery request? Oh, the payment ID. That's what a paid delivery request is. Okay. And so for the courier cancel, we know what the courier ID is. We know what the request ID is. Um, there's there's a couple things that we want to do in here though. We want to say that we want to dispatch to another courier, excluding the courier 
that cancel. Right. That's one. And then the second one is <clears throat> we want to call this. We, we want to. I said we just want to call this delivery requested again. Um, uh, if I if I call this, it needs an order. Yeah, I feel like I, I need to just call this whole thing. So now what? Well, I need to pull up that order. So I need to I need to like say var order equals. Now I need to get that order. And it's a pending order. Well, it's not a pending order, right? It's a it's still an active order. So how would I do that? Um, it's not in utilities. It's going to be in a data gateway for querying. These are our Azure table operations. It's missing the query. Oh, no, that's our query right here. So we're going to have to edit. Both of these uh, query, both of these couriers that are nearby, because we need to filter out to make sure that a courier that canceled doesn't make the query result. And we need to still dig up that order i feel like delivery request probably stores it right so data gateway order tracker and let's just open request right here this looks like this looks like it right here has an open order. Okay. So where is this being called at? Let's see. But that's just open requests, right? That's 
that's not actually querying. Here's a status right here. And this has a open order option of some or none. The other one was just open orders. Yeah. So the status, we can probably get the order from this. And status is, I'm not gonna ever find out where this is called from. Request status function. And it should just take, there's a status request that is required. It takes a token and a request ID. So far my conventions have been token class. Okay, so I can use a status request for my, I can have my courier dispatch call the delivery request service for a status request to get access to that, that order. Okay. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so, what does that look like? First, let's make sure that we have this defined in our language. As requests. Okay. Make sure our semicolons line up because my OCD likes that. All right. And so then what? Oh, we got to do a. This is a. What is this? Hold up. Give me a second. This is a HTTP. Okay, it's not a service to us. It's it's a HTTP call. So supposedly, I should be able to say like. Give me a second. I'm just running out. Should be able to say like. Web gateway dot uh, post a sync, and then that's going to take. Uh, we're in C sharp, right? So I got to use parentheses. And so post a sync is going to take. This is probably a wait, right? Like that. Uh, a wait. Uh, go back. A wait. And then post a sync is going to be like the address, which for this delivery request, see if there's an endpoint defined somewhere. There we go. So let's add another endpoint address that we can reference. And we'll call this, we'll call this delivery service. I don't know, what's the name of that project? Delivery request service. Delivery request service. Okay. And the endpoint for that, I thought it was like seventy seventy. Let me see. Yeah, 
Yeah, seventy seventy. Uh, you see, I had a boo-boo right here. It's supposed to be forward slash API. Okay. So I'm glad I caught that. Now what? We are in our courier dispatch service. So I should be able to say delivery request service dot to be like an endpoint. Of course, it doesn't know what that is. So then I have to import the web gateway na namespace. It's supposed to sync. Oh, yeah. So that's the endpoint address. The resource is going to be our request status function. And the payload we need to define, right? So that request status function relies on the status request. So I could say var status request equals and then new, and then do that, supposedly, and pass in the request ID, and then say new token, and that token is going to be a, how does this work? Access to is the, <sighs> how does this work? Um, the courier already canceled it. So it makes me think that my backend services are users as well, and that they have their own access IDs. Or their own API keys. Um, but this is access to, and well, it doesn't really make sense because the, oh, fine. It was the courier that canceled. So we'll just pass that in. And then the API key, we'll just say NA for right now. Okay. And what? So the status requests is our payload that we're sending over, and it doesn't like that. This post sync is returning an F sharp. Yeah, we gotta change that. It needs to return a task to be C sharp friendly. So to accomplish that, we just say this async uh, construct is going to pipe into a async dot start as task like that. Okay. So that's going to open up a can of worms everywhere else because now everywhere we use that, we have to do a async dot await task. Okay, might as well throw that on my clipboard. Same thing here.
same thing down here. Atrocious B. Okay. No worlds I had originally. <clears throat> I was at this order right here. Well, that's a response, right? Our response. That's well response. So then we can say something to extend the if response dot the success status code then and what for this up here right now. So if the operation was successful or if the call was successful, then we need to retrieve the JSON and convert it to some Figma jig and then extract the order from it, right? So let me figure out how that's accomplished. We have this. Uh, where has that done that? Let me I'm trying to find an example. Where is that done at? Let's say post. Uh, of course, I. It has this right here. Post. Ooh, it might post a sync or something. And then I can figure out. Uh, no. Look for another one. Right here. Okay, here we go. So then we have, let me periodically check my messages, my messages. Then we have this over here where we can say bar JSON equals, and then you say await, oh, read a string of sync. Okay. And it tells me JSON is RV defined. So <clears throat> what do you want to call this? You want to call this a Response, Jason. Something like that. And then we take that response, Jason. We throw it in there. Okay. And what we want to come out 
is uh, it was, it was called an order status, right? Uh, I thought that's what it was called. I'm going to just say status. Status request. No, I'm doing something wrong. Courier dispatch. What was the name of the thing? Status request. Nope. I don't remember the name. Bar status equals, and you say JSON convert. You pass in that JSON. But I got to figure out what that type is called. If we go back, request status function, it's called an open, it's called a status request. No, it's not. That's what we were, hold up, let me see. Yeah, the, well, our submission is called a status request. When we get back, it's supposed to be a open order. And so open order find as this whole thing right here. Specification, go to language, and we'll, we'll drop in the definition for this open order. Okay. So then that should catch and it does. So we'll call this a open order. All right, we'll we'll call it an open order. Then we still have to dispatch another courier to pick to continue with this. So how would that work? Um, call delivery requested. Give me a second. Initialize service flash connection stream, initialize storage connection stream. It takes this JSON. And it will press courier. As long as this doesn't generate a new, as long as this doesn't generate a new request ID, we're good. This paid delivery request, let me see what this has. It just has a, no, it has a request on it. Okay, I think we're fine. And this is a service bus trigger. All right, so we got to do a 
delivery requested all This courier dispatch. Oh God, I'm getting I'm getting lost. What's the code that I was working on? I was working on courier service. I think I finished its responsibility. Orchestrate courier cancel. Which, if we go to the definition of this. It saved, it saved the courier cancel into Azure storage. <sighs> okay, it starts, the robocall starts, token equals new. Token and the token is supposed to have access to why is this? Oh, hold up, I'm, confus I'm confusing my records with objects. That should be straight, right? No, it's not straight. Access to equals courier ID. And then API key not applicable right now. That's the way it works. Okay. I'm gonna have to take a premature break because I think I'm going about this the wrong way. Within this courier service, I feel like I shouldn't have to call another service to report that a courier canceled and to like I feel like this delivery request should be subscribed to a courier canceled um, topic And I shouldn't have to. I should have to call it from a completely different service. Like the whole bunch of the whole point of a service bus is for them to be subscribed to these topics. So. Let's create entity instead of the entity table. Okay. So I feel like this right here. Um, I feel like. Have. 
course, a delivery request service. Uh, should be subscribed, subscribed to this topic. All right, it should be something like that. And if it's not, then I need to make that happen. Okay. And so this should just return OK unit. OK unit. And so this was the courier service. Delivery request service already has a courier canceled. Yeah. So that should work. And Let's just resolve whatever this is right here. This is a v dot token dot access to. Am I at an hour yet? No, I got thirteen more minutes. Let's uh, like real talk. I'm deleting this. Uh, we leave this document documentation in here like that okay now, there is a kind of order, though, now that I think about how oh, shoot. There is an order, though. As I dwell on this, your courier dispatch and your delivery service are subscribers to this topic, potentially, in addition to the courier service for a courier cancel. But in order for the career dispatch to be successful, a, a career canceled um, delivery needs to be saved in the Azure table first in the, before career dispatch finds a new courier and filters out the courier that canceled their their delivery right it shouldn't translate it it shouldn't ping the same courier um twice if that 
if that courier had originally canceled the the order prior, right, then they shouldn't be notified of a, a new incoming order and then be prompted to accept or decline. Like that shouldn't happen. So what needs to happen is we we save a courier canceled entry into our Azure storage. And then we, and that's the order. And then we have to dispatch a, a new courier. So whatever code, what code did I have in here originally? Was I calling the courier dispatch? Who, who was I calling? Uh, I was calling a the delivery request endpoint. The delivery request endpoint. Um, was then going to was then going to just forward that request to a courier dispatch. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like I have to I have to like manually orchestrate this. But it, remember, the courier service is calling the courier canceled uh, Azure function for a delivery request service. But the delivery isn't canceled. It's just it's just the courier that canceled. Right, the order is still alive. So do I really need to involve the delivery request service in this? Or should I just have the courier service um, trigger the courier dispatch service? In a way, it kind of feels wrong because there should be like chain of responsibility, potentially, and your courier service shouldn't have the privilege to trigger a courier dispatch service. That I feel like that should be a responsibility of the courier of the delivery request service to do that. Even if there's a performance hit and it adds like another, I don't know, maybe five seconds for that ceremony to, to occur. Yep. So... Now that I thought it out, should not be subscribed to this topic. The delivery request should not be subscribed to this topic. Neither should courier dispatch. And the reason, uh, 
Courier Dispatch. Should say Courier Dispatch needs to filter out couriers that have canceled their acceptance to deliver. And to say cancel their acceptance. Okay. So this is still in play. This, my friend, is what hardcore cold cottage are. Let's check this code in for. Uh, oh, no, hold on, did I saw? Did I solve it? Um, delivery request. Dispatch another courier. Yeah, I'll, I'll get around to that. Did I hit my hour yet? Three more minutes. So, say partial support for courier canceling acceptance and forwarding and in invoking. Delivery, high school delivery, deliver, the de, I can't spell, delivery request service to dispatch another courier, something like that. The delivery request service where we could check this in. Yeah, so do that. And then after checking that in, do what? XXX so that the compiler won't compile so I can see where I left off at. And the courier dispatch, this is going to need to... Delivery requested. This is going to have to, when we request a courier, it's going to have to check the table to see if that courier that it's preparing to select, not even preparing to select, it just needs to make sure that the courier doesn't exist within the pool of couriers. So, Um, 
so you say in here, or you could say filtered pool equals, you say let filter pool equals, and then you could say filter Or you could say remove couriers canceled like that. Or you could just say filter carriers. Who canceled? Can sold? Or you could just say filter cancellations. Something like that. Or you could say filter of careers canceled. <laughs> Something like that. No, I hit my one hour yet. I hit my one hour. All right. I am out. I'll be back on later. Chill. Take care. Bye.